Hey gamers, Maniac here with GameAccess.net. McDonald's is currently doing an incredible Pokemon promotion where they're offering exclusive Pokemon trading cards with Happy Meals for the rest of the month. There have been a lot of people online that have been saying that they're going to try their best to get every card and they're going to pretty wild extremes as to how they're getting those cards. Um, if... McDonald's is to be believed, and I believe they are. There are literally 50 possible cards that are being offered, and they're only offering packs of four for each order. And so there's a lot of chance for overlap. There's a lot of chance for repeats. But the promotion is going out this entire month, and I'm interested to see if people that chose to do this the right way, people who specifically would, let's say, eat at McDonald's once a day, can actually get all of the Pokemon. Let's see if that's true. Let's see what I got. Let's see. Let's let's see what I got here. I collected everything in the binders here, and uh, I, I kind of want to show everything that we ended up getting. Um, there were some sticker packs. Uh, you guys might have seen this. This is a card pack, a collapsible card pack. There were some sticker packs that were included. Basically, make your own sticker. Got a lot of these. Um, and I put a lot of these. And um, the one I got the fewest of was the large stickers. This one was the, I did not, I think I might have only gotten one of these, maybe two at most. But uh, the large sticker was the one I got the fewest of. But let's take a, a look at all the cards that I have obtained. And uh, starting with Foil Torchic. Non-foil Grookey, Fennekin, non-foil, Totile, non-foil, Turtwig, Chikorita, non-foil, Foil Piplup, which I got a bunch of those, non-foil Charmander, non-foil non, non Papillo, Foil Fennekin, Oshawa Chespin, Trico, Torchic, got a lot of Torchics. A lot of non-foil Torchics. Foil Oshawa, Cyndaquil, Sobble, non-foil Pikachu. I never got a foil Pikachu. I never found one. Snivy, Bulbasaur, Froakie. Foil Papilla, Squirtle, Foil Rowlet, Score Bunny. Never got a foil of either Score Bunny or Litten. Bulbasaur, Foil. And the last I was able to get, Piplup, Snivy, and Mudkip. And that's all I could get. All the rest that I ended up getting were all um, just re reprintings. After all of that said and done, not including any of the rejections, out of 50 potential cards total for this event. After going to McDonald's and eating there every day for practically a month, I was only able to get, not including um, repeats, about somewhere in the mid-30s cards that are not repeats. That is pretty terrible. So maybe it's just my bad luck, but I, I kind of chalked that up as just pretty terrible. I would have had to have eaten there knowing how many foils are out there. I would have had to eaten there 25 times. I would have had to have purchased at least 25 Happy Meals at a price of around $4.50 or so a box average to have gotten at least a chance of getting every card, not including repeats. And I must have gotten at least three or four foil repeats. So that is what it is. Now, not including foils, are there any specific starters I did not get? And yeah, I'm by my count, I'm missing at least two. Um, I never got the Chimchar, and I never got the T-Pig. Nowhere in any of this list are either of those cards, unfortunately. Got plenty of Torchics, but no, uh, no Chimchar and no T-Pig, foil or otherwise. I also never got a foil Pikachu. From what I was told, that was probably the hardest, po uh, the hardest card to get. This was, of course, the only... I never got any other Pikachus other than this one either. So the Pikachu was pretty tough to get. I know that uh, probably commanded pretty high price on 
uh, eBay. But otherwise, what did I think about this promotion? And as a person who spent, you know, all this money eating at McDonald's every day for like a month, yes, I'm probably not going to be eating there again for a while. What did I think of the event? Was I happy with it? And if I could give advice to McDonald's or the Pokemon company, what would I do in the future? And the truth is, is that I think, I think this was a great promotion. Um, these are, these are great cards. It was a cool choice to, to, you know, this is really how you do a Pokemon event. If you're going to be giving away Pokemon cards that are exclusive, doing this, having them watermarked and, and having a, a, a very specific list as to each and every Pokemon that's being offered is the way to do it. General Mills did it back in 2019, if I remember correctly. So this can be done correctly. The only thing I would say would be is to offer fewer. There was no reason to offer 50 cards. There just wasn't. 25 with very specific unique foils would have been fine. That's all they would have needed to have done. If even if like let's say for example they could have just stripped down the 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 50 the 50 total cards that they had and just offer a couple of select foils like instead of offering both a foil and a non-foil Pikachu just oil of just offer a foil Pikachu. And then that would have been that would have been a great idea. That would have been that would have been fantastic. And then the foils would have been the rare ones. But there was nothing wrong with that. As to say, I mean, I've got a I I ended up getting all the, you know, the exclusive items and stuff like that. And from what I've been told, people seem to really like this uh collapsible card pack. So, you know, it's definitely a cool place to put all of your extras. But I got to say, I, I, I am happy when events like this happen. I do be, believe the internet kind of, because of the, the, the large amount of potential cards, I think the internet went crazy. And I think they would have gone less crazy if they had offered half the amount that they did. Especially given the fact that they were only having this promotion for a month. If you're going to offer 50 cards, you should have run it for two months. So, I mean, I still liked it. I, I mean, I hope... McDonald's does something like this again, or some other promoter does something like this again, but if they do, offer half the cards. And, I, I mean, doing it right, you can't guarantee that you'll get every one, but maybe I'll find somebody willing to trade if somebody wants a, is willing to offer me something for some of those Torchics. <laughs> Until next time, guys, my name is Maniac with GameAccess.net, trying to be like the best like no one ever was. Take care, over and out.